Good morning, everyone. Imagine TV, and this is uh, episode number 29 or 7 of uh, season 2. Okay, we took our picture last week. I opened them in, um, in Bridge, and the reason is, is because I want to make sure that I use all my raw at the same time to have the same color and everything. I will open all of them together, and this is the way to do it. And I already did it. I went to the uh, sofa. First of all, always put the remove um, chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. You can use auto. The problem when you do a selfie like that and when your camera is against the wall and you don't have a flip screen, you cannot see anything. You just hope for the best. And that's why I like to do it outside. That way I can go in the back of the camera to see if everything is okay. Okay, when everything is done, on the image and I like the color, I just select all. That's uh, you just click and shift and you have all your picture. You can also go here and put select all, same thing. And sync setting, means everything will be the same. And you press okay. What I do after that, because you don't have to do it twice, you put select all and you can save the image and I want everything in TIFF and you put save and that way you save all of them together okay when that is done you just have to press uh, done or you can open the image in Photoshop now we're in Photoshop and I decide to use four of the images that I had and I'm going to show you I have my sofa I have uh, me speaking on the phone on the side, this one, and this one in the middle. That should be quite easy. But I'm looking here, I have a problem because I don't like to have the um, top of my head to the top of the image. It's not bad, but this is not what I want. To do our stack, it's pretty easy. Select all, edit, copy, and we're going to go on our base image, it's it, paste. Okay, now that we don't need that one anymore, we're going to take it out. Same thing for this one. Okay, and the last one. Select all, it's it, copy, it's it, paste. Okay, now we'll solve the my uh, wall problem I'll go layer duplicate layer and like I said I'm going to do it fast Fis fastest way to do it right now it's going to image canvas size I need to add to the top I'm going in inches and I'll go and put 15 uh, I know that I will crop it after anyway I have a color that is picker similar to the uh, the wall itself we'll go OK and now we have that the fastest way but it doesn't work all the time it's to go and to just do it this way and edit fill content aware if you're lucky it will work it's not bad you can use the move tool take a part here that looks pretty good and bring it over this if you want to get it a little bit better because we'll crop it but still you can use this icon here it's give you a layer blank layer and paint over it like if you want to paint over it you just have to look okay the paint here take the color thicker make sure it's okay and just paint over. If you don't want to overlap the image, uh, I put normally all my layers around 30%. Now you can see that nobody touched nobody. Okay, we'll start with number one. Best way to do that, it's layer layer mask 
hide it. Now you're using your brush on the white, white brush on the black, and you're bringing yourself back. One done, and you can always go back to it. Now the second one, same thing, layer mask, hide all, I'm going to put that 200%, okay that's there. me sitting there and the third one layer mask hide all and around here I'm going to add my foot here This one is okay. We have the sofa here. I want to have the sofa to go with her, not with the one that is up. Because I'm going to be careful. Okay, I'm going to this one now. And I want to bring it back a little bit. Uh, to bring it back, I need white. I'm going to bring just a little bit back. Now if I want to put that all together, I can do a stamp. If you remember, a stamp is C T R L Shift Alt and the letter E all together. And now you can do whatever you want with that image. You can crop it. Okay, it's straight, it's crop. Let's say you want to have a black and white picture. I'm going to use a filter that I'm uh, trying right now and it's uh, alias Alien Skin Exposure X4. I have Exposure X2, it's very good, but it's they give you 30 days to try it out and it's pretty interesting. If you never tried any of the uh, Alien Skin, you can try it for 30 days and see if you like it. And I just wanted to show you, I went to the, you have the choice of color or black and white. I'm going with the black and white. I like the uh, Neopan 1600. I used that film quite a bit when I was using film. I'm going to add a border. You can go and choose simple one. It will be just white. And you can ch change it for black if you want. That looks pretty good. And press apply. And that's it. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment below. If you have any ideas or if you want me to try something different, let me know. Till then, keep shooting, have fun, and be creative. Ciao. Enjoy your day and uh, ciao, ciao. Eso, Dion! <laughs>